Royal Caribbean's adults-only beach at Perfect Day at Coco Key is now open, and we've got a full look at what you can do, see, and experience at Hideaway Beach up next. Hey everyone, it's Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com. Royal Caribbean's adult-only beach at its private island offers an enclave for those seeking a kid-free beach day. Hideaway Beach is an extra cost section of Perfect Day at Coco Key that's available to guests who are at least 18 years old and willing to pay the admission fee. And this is more than just another beach without kids. It's an expansion that includes some of the best features of the private island experience in one spot. As you enter, you'll need admission in here. Costs will vary, figure somewhere between $30 and $70 per person. On the Rocks is located right by the main entrance and On the Rocks is one of the new bars available here. You notice there's a number of venues. On the Rocks is actually a sports bar. It's the first sports bar on a Royal Caribbean private destination. And here it's meant to evoke essentially a place you can go to not only to enjoy a great drink, but be able to watch any sporting events that are on there, engage in your own games. As you can see, there's billiard tables as well, and also enjoy live music. This bar is definitely meant to be a place you can go to for those who maybe want to break from being in the water or just want to enjoy an amazing breeze. I got to say, being right on the coast, you're going to get great wind out here it's really comfortable even during the warmer months of the year you're going to find a nice gentle breeze so you can enjoy the music or better yet watch one of the games on tv football baseball hockey other sports that i don't know about those are available to watch in here just like on a cruise ship so that way you don't have to compromise necessarily if your ship is in port on a sunday and you want to watch the buffalo bills blow it again now the scenery is absolutely fantastic and i gotta say i really love how beautiful this place is Another new venue in the Hideaway Beach is Hideaway Hut. Hideaway Hut is essentially the Snack Shack, if you're familiar with that location elsewhere at Perfect Day Coco Key, but on steroids. They've taken the base menu of the Snack Shack and increased it. They have more choices with Hideaway Hut, including a variety of new foods you can enjoy and, of course, staples like mozzarella sticks. Don't worry about that, Nicole. Now, the nice thing about Hideaway Hut is it's really quick, and it's included, by the way, with your cruise fare. So when you get into the Hideaway Beach, you don't pay anything extra for the Hideaway Hut. You can take the food and eat it at a nearby table or go back to your chair, whatever the case may be. In fact, there's a lot of seating all around Hideaway Beach, including chairs and umbrellas, and those are included. So it's just first come, first serve to enjoy all of that. If you're worried food like Hideaway Hut is just your usual, you know, burgers and hot dogs, I got to tell you, it is far better than you might think. And I have daydreams about some of the food here, I got to admit, it's really, really good. There's also a bar nearby, and there's bars all around Hideaway Beach. This is one of the first ones you're going to find. That's kind of near the pool, near the beach. The idea is that you don't have to go very far to grab a drink. This is an adults-only venue. Probably people are going to imagine they're going to want a drink here. That's why they have it. By the way, if you have a Royal Caribbean drink package, your drink package benefits work at this bar and all over Perfect Day at Coco Keys. That's a really nice added benefit, along with your internet package, by the way. So you've got drinks and internet package. Those will still work at Perfect Day, including at Hideaway Beach. Now, the beach area is rather large. It's a semicircle cove and it's protected. This is what I love about this is that it's not just like straight up waves, right? The water comes in, it's fresh seawater, but the surf is not nearly as bad as it would be if it didn't exist. So Royal Caribbean carved out this area so you can enjoy time in the water without you know, necessarily being hit over by waves or anything like that. It's a really casual experience. And really Royal wants Hideaway Beach to be a place you can go to chill, relax, and have a good time at the same time because there is a party vibe here. Not that you have to engage in it, but if you are looking for a party vibe, the swim-up bar is probably where you want to go. The swim-up bar at Hideaway Beach is massive. And the idea here is that it's going to be a party for you because Royal Caribbean really wants that kind of like Las Vegas pool party vibe here at Hideaway Beach. Hideaway Beach, by the way, has capacity of around 1,800 guests. And this is a heated pool, by the way. So whether it's January or July, it's going to be plenty warm in the pool. The pool includes a swim-up bar with a DJ that plays party music throughout the day. And really, Royal Caribbean wants a party vibe with a lively party atmosphere. This is not a library. They want this a high energy experience, quite frankly. We're going to be at the swim-up bar, enjoying the music, having a drink perhaps, and just enjoying being in the water, being social. And this is a big part of what makes Hideaway Beach a little bit different. There are day beds you're going to see within the water. These are first come, first serve. So if you want to get one, I would advise getting off the ship extremely early because there's only a few of them. And these are available for free, so it's just a matter of you swimming up to them first and then grabbing them for the day, probably. So, But not to worry, if you don't get one of those, there's still plenty of chairs and umbrellas, and all the chairs and umbrellas are included 
no additional cost. I really like these pool loungers as well. These are again, first come first serve. There's more of these available and they're in the shallow part of the pool. So you can stay wet without being submerged all the time. But being an infinity pool, the views are absolutely incredible. And you can see here in this video, I mean, it's just a really pretty spot. Royal did a great job of doing more than just another beach. They wanted to create a whole spot and whole expansion that's really gonna wanna draw you in. On the other side of Swimmit Bar is actually a dry bar. So again, if you wanna be part of that DJ vibe, but you're not interested in getting the water or you've been in the water already or whatever the reason may be, you can go on the dry side and be able to be here, get a drink, be able to be part of the party vibe with that music going on, but not actually in the water. It's a rather large area with plenty of seating and shade, by the way. It's actually a good spot if you're looking to get a break from the sun. During those warmer summer months, it can get really warm down there. And I mentioned there's a nice breeze, but the sun is the sun in the tropics and it will still get very, very warm. So a good shaded spot is right here. This might be a nice break. Now, in addition to the admission, you can also get a hideaway cabana. There are two types of cabanas. The first is the hideaway cabana. The hideaway cabana is essentially your beach cabana. You can rent one for the day and includes admission for up to six guests. The hideaway cabanas are located closer to the pool. And by purchasing one of these cabanas, you essentially get, well, a place just for you and your party to enjoy. There's also cabana service. You push a little button and your cabana tenant comes by and they can bring you drinks and food. Food is included. Drinks would cost extra, but if you have a drink package, then you're set to go. But if you don't have a drink package, then you just pay for each drink as you order them. Nice thing also about having a cabana is that there are towels provided as well as that food service. I really like the food service with the cabanas because it just makes everything easier. You're enjoying, you're having a good time, you're relaxing. You don't have to get up and go get some food. Speaking of food, Slice of Paradise is another new venue just for Hideaway Beach. Slice of Paradise is a pizza restaurant primarily, and this serves up a couple different slices of pizza along with empanadas. Now, pizza's not something you can find elsewhere at Perfect Day at Coco Key, but they have, of course, cheese pizza and a couple other varieties that are really interesting. I gotta say the Caribbean chicken one was really, really good, but whichever variety you like, you've got them here. You know, a lot of people love having pizza on a cruise and it's never really been a food you can get on the island, but here you're gonna have it at Slice of Paradise at Hideaway Beach. And I gotta say, when I walked in and I was kind of hungry, first thing I got was a slice of pizza and man, it was so good. You know, there's just something about it. And especially if you're having a couple beers during the day, a slice of pizza really goes well with it. You can take your pizza and empanadas over to one of the seats that's nearby. I really like that you can grab a table that overlooks the beach. You can still see what's going on there or maybe you run back to your chair or even your cabana. Heck, if you're in a cabana, have your cabana tend to get it for you. That's what I would recommend. But instead you have that choice. Right nearby Slice of Paradise is yet another bar. And like all these bars, they've got plenty of drinks to choose from. By the way, I mentioned earlier, you can use your drink package benefits here, but I didn't mention you can also use your diamond drink benefits if you're a diamond, diamond plus or pinnacle member, just ask to use them at one of the bars or from your waiter. Now there are a lot of chairs that go around Hideaway Beach. The beach is a cove shaped beach. So it kind of goes around in a semi-circle as I mentioned earlier, and you can find plenty of chairs all around. Now, in addition, there's the hideout cabanas. And I know this can be a little confusing with the names, but the hideout cabanas have their own infinity pool. These are more like VIP cabanas. They're a little further away from the pool area, closer to the beach. But what really makes these stand out is of course this infinity pool that's reserved for just you and anyone else in your cabana. This is incredible, I gotta tell you, because this is the bougiest cabana I have ever seen. Even better, I think, than the floating cabanas at the Coco Beach Club. You're gonna have reserved seating, cabana attendant, and yes, it includes admission for up to six guests as well. The infinity pool is what makes it for me. I gotta admit to all of you, I love pools more than I love the beach, but having your own infinity pool is really the way to go here. Also, if you're not a real fan of the DJ music, you want a more quieter experience, these are the cabanas for you because they're far enough away where the DJ music is not loud enough. They can pipe it in your cabana if you'd like to have it, but there are Bluetooth speakers for you to enjoy and be able to have that. There's also an outdoor shower at these cabanas that you can use. I really love cabana life in general. And yeah, this is gonna cost you a lot more than just admission in here. But if your goal is to have a real VIP elevated experience, I gotta tell you, the hideaway cabanas are definitely the way to go. I was really impressed with how big they were, how much space there was, and this own private infinity pool really makes it for me. You'll find one more bar on the beach on the far side of the beach, closer to the hideaway cabanas. And this bar has a nice little theme to it, but it's just a place to grab beers if you're on this end of the beach. In fact, I think this end of the beach, the far end of the beach is definitely gonna be the least crowded one. So if you come in here and you're not seeing chairs initially available, not to worry, Keep going and you'll find them here. There's also beach swings, which are really nice. It's good for your 
Instagram photos, as well as hammocks, and of course, a little pull as you can bring your drinks to. Depending on where the tide is, the water will come up a little bit higher than you're seeing here in this video. And all of these, by the way, are first come, first serve, no additional cost for those. It's a really nice spot. And I love how beautiful Hideaway Beach is. Yeah, it's an adults only beach, but for me, I was really blown away by how much there is. It encapsulates, in my opinion, the best island experience to date. At its heart, Hideaway Beach is about picking a place just for adults. I get that. And while Royal Caribbean cruise ships are family friendly, getting a break from the kids might be a nice change of pace for some people out there. And I think there's other people that would just prefer the amenities offered to Hideaway Beach, regardless of the fact if there's kids or not. And spending the day at Hideaway Beach, it's clear that Royal Caribbean has truly cherry-picked the best things from Perfect Day and incorporated them into one spot. It has the Infinity Pool from the Cocoa Beach Club, the DJ and Smell Bar from Oasis Lagoon, the Snack Shack from around the island, and of course, a beautiful cove. The upgraded food choices are also a really nice touch. You're not gonna confuse this food for being like upscale, amazing, blowing you away food, but it's nice to have something a little bit different and some new choices out there. I also gotta say, I love the heated pool, swim bar, and beautiful Cove Beach, and there was far less seaweed at Hideaway than some of the other beaches. I don't like that stuff touching me. <laughs> if there's one thing though, I didn't care for for that much, it's definitely the DJ. I'm just too old for that. It's not my thing anymore. I get a lot of people love it, and I'm not in the majority here because if you go to this, Swim at bar at any point of the day, there's gonna be a lot more people in there enjoying it. So that's a me problem, but that's okay because I'll end up with a spot further away from the pool. If you can get an admission for under $50 a person, I think Hideaway Beach is definitely worth booking. Royal Caribbean has really hit a home run with combining some of their best ideas in one area. The fact that it's adults only is secondary. That's how good the area feels. So there you have a look around Hideaway Beach at Perfect Day at Coco Key. Let me know, are you gonna go there and where would you spend your whole day? Swim a bar, cabana, over by the beach, one of the beach swings, maybe at the On The Rocks bar watching the game. Let me know what you think and will you be booking one of the admission passes to get in here? While you're down below our video, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications. That way YouTube lets you know we have a brand new video to share. This has been Matt from RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com and we'll talk again real soon.